Mount the base into your surface using the four provided quarter 20 FHSCS fasteners with the 5 32 inch Allen wrench. Next, apply the pole mount flange under your work surface with the countersunk holes facing up, sliding over the fasteners. Secure the fasteners to your work surface using the four quarter 20 steel flange nuts provided. Step 2. Inserting 3520 arm. Place the 3520 arm into the base. Step 3. Connecting Visa plate to scanner bracket. Take the 100 millimeter Visa plate and insert into the inner holes of the scanner bracket. The bracket can be used facing left or right, pending your desired position. The bracket fingers should always be in the upright position. Next, secure each thread with a knob. Step 4. Connecting Monitor Tilter. Take the monitor tilter and connect to the visa plate using the four 1032 PFHMS Phillips head screws. The tilter should be on the same side as the scanner bracket, facing down. Step 5. Attaching the monitor. Connect the Toshiba monitor to the tilter using the four M4.7 screws. Two screws will go through the upper corner holes of the visa plate. The other two screws will go into the lower outer holes of the scanner bracket, followed by the monitor. Step 6. Placing monitor on arm. Insert the monitor into the arm. Add the dog washer and tighten with the 1032 FPH MS with lock patch screw. Step 7. Monitor Movement. Using the 3 seconds inch Allen wrench, insert into the set screw in the upper arm below where the tilter is inserted. Turning clockwise will limit the monitor movement. Turning counterclockwise will increase monitor movement. Step 8. Counterbalancing. Press the arm down to approximately parallel with the desk. Now insert the 7 seconds inch Allen wrench into the strength adjustment screw at the base of the arm. If the arm drifts upward, turn the adjustment screw clockwise. If the arm drifts downward, turn the adjustment screw counterclockwise. This may take up to 15 to 20 turns. Step 9. Installing Cable Cap and Cable Wrap. Place your wires within the cable cap and insert into the underside channel of the arm. 
you can route your wires through the base or allow them to freely rest next to the mount. Next, take the cable wrap and place it around your wires above the cable cap.